Iraq has urged the US to launch airstrikes against ISIS militants who seized large parts of the country. Jihadists have been closing in on Baghdad since taking the country's second largest city more than a week ago. And the closest they've come so far to the capital was on Monday when militants attacked the uh, city of Bakuba, which we can see down here. That's just 60 kilometres away from Baghdad. Uh, soldiers, though, managed to repel that offensive. And we can see now recent footage from the northern city of Baiji, where the insurgents tried to seize Iraq's biggest oil refinery. But government forces uh, fought them off there as well. And in between, taking one major city after another, ISIS uh, also managed to put together a glossy report outlining the group's activities. Artesia Gorpiskanov has more. 15,000 fighters, 10,000 operations in Iraq, 1,000 assassinations, and all last year alone. The Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, now known more notoriously as ISIS, has been slicing through Iraq, moving closer and closer to Baghdad. And they're running a slick modern PR campaign, too, even publishing an official report uh, of their activities using computer-generated graphics. It paints a clear picture of the terror organization, including the types and amounts of weapons they use, their strategy, details of operations and targets. And former intelligence officers claim it produces its press releases like a giant corporation trying to create an image of a well-structured, disciplined and effective organization, all to attract funding. But their actions speak loudly, too, as ISIS fighters have almost reached the Iraqi capital, killing scores of people along the way in just around seven days. While during the U.S.-led invasion of the country, it took the Allied forces 22 days to reach Baghdad. The ultimate goal of ISIS is to create a new Islamic state merging parts of Iraq and Syria into one. Now, it's believed that the movement grew out of al-Qaeda in Iraq, emerging from the chaos of the 2003 invasion. Today, it has 15,000 fighters, most of whom are thought to be from neighboring Middle Eastern countries, but around 2,000 are believed to have come from Europe, including Britain. ISIS has also become known for extreme brutality, including widespread beheadings and crucifixions. Most of its funding is traced to Southeast Asia, particularly Indonesia, the country with the biggest Muslim population on Earth, but following the arrest of high-profile jihadists there, it said extremists are now turning their attention to the conflicts in Iraq and Syria.